The Brumbies have long been the standard bearers for Australia in Super Rugby, but in 224 there are signs the fortunes are shifting, with the Reds in particular and several others closing the gap as Fakatava moves it away for Broughton in the number eight jersey. Now Gilbert looking to jab a little kick through, got in a Not bit of a no tangle. Violence. And so back to the penalty. I like the attitude from the Highlanders straight away taking Brumbies on at more time. So the first chance to strike for the Highlanders was very clear, very clinical, and they'll get the first chance at points. The zoo giving their help as best they can. So Gilbert, and off the post it goes. Now the bounce all over the place. And I think the Brumbies have brought it under control. No, it's a turnover. And it's gone back and another yeah, penalty. Here. Turnover was good. And then Brumbies off his feet. 12 was off his feet, not rolling clear. He's had it too clean. Straight as. No little fade like your golf swing, this boat. <laughs> well, that's a regulation kick. So he gets to a tone fairly quickly, does Sam Gilbert. And the Highlanders lead early by 3-0. Another penalty coming the way of the Highlanders. Off now to Mau. Looking to step his way through was Talia. Fakatava having a good fight and wrestle with Caden Neville. Ball is up off the ground and Fakatava, what powers he got. Now he got it away to Talia. Inside the 22. Fakatava, quick ball to Gilbert. Ball's intercepted and off goes Ikitao. Taken down early and a good tackle by Miller. Lonigan gets nailed. Now the kick through and the chase for Broughton. Can they win the race? There's three Highlanders in the race and they do score. So Glenn from that, I've got the player on side. A real chapter of errors. Ball all over the place. Bottom line is Highlanders in. Excellent work to start the game. Very tidy. I must highlight the work from Max Hicks to get the ball off the kickoff, then the initial carry. Then from there, Falal Fakatava looked like he was about to be held up. He got out of it. Then this was the end. Ball on the ground, a couple of advantages. Later, Nikola Broughton, who the, what, the man who kicked the ball through, chases. He ate the kicker, isn't he? And he yep, then he yep. touches down. Oh, so much to unpick there, isn't there, Kane Holmes? So watching the grounding. Even though, no, not disputing it, but just got fingertips on it. Great work from Nikola Broughton in the chase through. Still playing under, of course, this penalty advantage. Now the Brumbies again with Lolisio. Here comes the cross kick. Corey Toole hasn't got a height advantage, that's for sure. And beautifully taken it's down no by Tava Tava Nawai. But back to the penalty we go. On the line. How about this? We tap and go. How good? Yep, how good. Here goes Tom Hooper with the red headgear. Almost went astray, but they've still got it, the Brumbies. So now Lonigan shovels it across to Shop. Ball available again. Ball presented. Lonigan away now for right. Right. Almost through. Not Thought right about hands. stretching out, Hand but draw. it was just a bit was on the too far to go. So it's there again Set. for Lonigan. Gets it across for Ikitao. Arnold is hoping to hold him up off the ground, but it's there again for Lonigan. Slings it across right, and Tom Wright stretching, and he scores. Tips on the line there. Just got it onto the chalk, and the opening try for the Brumbies scored by Tom Wright. The Brumbies have had their issues, but at this stage it doesn't matter. They're really starting to build into their work now, building phase after phase. They can be quite condensed. The whole team's almost inside the 15 metres, but what they're doing is trying to outwork the Highlanders. At this stage they do, and Tom Wright gets his team on the board. Fakatava once more. Now Taylor. Fakatava sells the dummy, not bought at all by the Brumbies. As Taylor shovels it off to Holland. And this time it will be a penalty advantage. Your right arm's always in contact. You need to see a clear release and then on the ball, please. Jerome Brown. New Zealand born. Sees the penalty right out in front of the goalposts. It's a vibrant crowd. 
as Gilbert looks to add to the lead, and this time he will do. Nine minutes out from half time, and the home team have the advantage 11 to 7. Line out a little bit untidy, but it's been grabbed by Johnston. So the Hollanders managed it okay, and Pakatawa says careful, careful. that will do us for the first Cut half, on. and indeed it will. There's been plenty of action, but just two tries in the first half, and it sees the home team, the Highlanders, leading the Brumbies by 11 points to seven. As the Brumbies have early field position in this second half. Sefu Kotai, now Lonigan for Lolasio, holds it up. Sapsford takes the tackle. Now Brown again, Jerome tackle. Brown. Puts the knee on the ground, so he's able to release the ball for Lion, Ryan Lonigan. Taken up by Nick Frost. And he's trying to get something going here. A lot of this game has been confined to the middle of the park. Here's Sapsford. Muirhead. Muirhead almost on the outside of Tava Tava Nawai. Here's the pace of Corey Tool. Boy, can he go! That is a great try by Corey Tool. Just pace. He's outstanding. And in terms of pace, too, he's been working so hard this whole game. Just a little bit of a chase in from Timothy Tavatava. Now, why then Muirhead gets the ball? Not to my Tabuki. Neepkins has to shut in as well. Corey Tool, he's outstanding. Oh, the back, the back three for both sides have been outstanding. But that man, Muirhead, it was his hard work, got on the outside of Tavatava. Now, why it made Neepkins, Rutter by Tabuki Neepkins, shut in. But, jeez. This boy is rapid. Lolasio looking to add to the lead, and up go the flags. So 14 to 11. Valatini bounces out of a couple. Takes it over the 22. Some real purpose in their play now, the Brumbies. Lolasio. Lonigan waits. Gives it off to Brown, running hard again. Jerome Brown, good clean out too. Lonigan away for Hooper. Lonigan clears it out for Tua. That's really good strength. And here goes Tom Sanders. Oh. Well, the knee went down, so they had to release. Tom Sanders might have heard the call. And Ben O'Keefe was just focused on the rugby. How good's this? Sit down, Aiden Johnson. Yeah, really good power. Yeah, knee clearly down. Olaceo to add to the lead, and he does just that. So it's been a very good start to the second half for the Brumbies. Behind at half time, they now lead. Well, 17 to 11. Subs, 10 to 11 hot. Change for the Brumbies as well. In Jersey 19. That's Darcy Swain on for Caden uh, Neville. Right, oh, here come the Highlanders through to Leah. Ball slung out to Harmon. Goes hard and goes straight through the tackle. Billy Harmon to the line and he scores. Oh, that's some try, Billy Harmon. Look at this carry from the big man. Just keeps pumping his legs. One, two Wallabies. Drags another couple over. That is excellent. That is some Billy ball Harman. carry. Some ball carry, Kane Hames. Nick Frost, sit down. Rob Valentini, sit <laughs> down. And then get on my back. I'll take you over the line. Brilliant, Billy Harmon. What a run by it's Billy Harmon. It's huge. So much power. Six. Oh, penalty. Ben O'Keefe's had enough. And he's gone the penalty. On the, on the arm and then down. Well, the seal from a handy position to bring the Brumbies back in front. Which he does. And so the Brumbies lead by two. Yeah, bets on. They go back to the tried and true. Their move. It's been successful for them for many years. Lonigan throws. Stretching up was Frost. 
backwards initially. Now they get the momentum they're looking for. Charging hard towards the line. And he's looking. Ben O'Keefe, and he gives the try. And it may well be Darcy Swain. Yeah, of course, Dan Palmer ruled this part for the Brumbies last year in terms of the coaching. Watch the work here from number eight, Rob Valentina, who brings it around the corner. That caused a little bit of disruption. Now they've got to rush back to the other side. They don't quite nail it. Brumbies back to the tried and true. There he is over the line, Lachlan Lonigan. Yeah, it was always going to be that man, wasn't it? Um, Lachlan Lonigan, brilliantly set from the Brumbies. Lonicio hits it right down the middle. And the Brumbies have a lead of 27 points to 18. Six. Second time early. So they tight get the penalty hit. here. Now they can take the three. The early. Fabian Holland is pointing to the line. You can see the fizzy on the far side pointing to the post. I'd say go to the post here. There's no guarantee that you can score a try. There's a better chance of kicking the goal, surely. So Sam Gilbert with the opportunity to salvage a point out of this game. Struck it very well. And over it goes. And the victory is with the Brumbies. But the Highlanders do manage to salvage a bonus point out of the match. But the Brumbies, particularly in the second half, took over and have won the match by 27 points to 21.